When the moon hangs high and the city lights dim, New Orleans whispers tales of ghosts and grim. Welcome to the city of jazz, where the music is as vibrant as its history is mysterious. Today we journey through the French Quarter and beyond into the heart of New Orleans' chilling lore. Here, every corner, every alley, every centuries-old building has a ghostly tale to tell. We will uncover the five most haunted places in this mystical city before we delve deeper into these haunted places. Do check out the links in the description for additional information and resources. Our first stop on this chilling journey is the infamous La Lori Mansion. This grand edifice, steeped in history, was once the home of socialite Madame Delphine La Lori. Known for her lavish parties, Madame La Lori harbored a dark secret. Whispers of her cruel treatment of slaves began to circulate. Ghost sightings abound here, with reports of spectral figures and chilling screams echoing from within. A visit to LaLaurie Mansion is not for the faint-hearted, as many visitors have reported eerie experiences. Next, we move on to the St. Louis Cemetery and the haunted Hotel Monteleone. Drenched in history and shrouded in mystery, the St. Louis Cemetery is more than just a final resting place. Its most famous resident, the renowned voodoo queen Marie Laveau, is said to still hold court here from beyond the grave. Visitors have reported eerie encounters, from hearing phantom footsteps to witnessing spectral processions, making it a truly spine-chilling experience. Just a stone's throw away, the Grand Hotel Monteleone harbors its own spectral inhabitants. Particularly infamous is the 14th floor, which in reality is the 13th floor, renumbered due to superstition. Guests have shared chilling stories of playful phantom children, spectral figures, and eerie occurrences that defy explanation. From phantom funerals at St. Louis Cemetery to ghostly guests at Hotel Monteleone, New Orleans keeps the spirit of the past alive, quite literally. Our chilling tour continues with the Old Absinthe House and the Sultan's Palace. Aged two centuries, the Old Absinthe House is a relic of bygone days, with tales of ghostly sightings as potent as its famed cocktails. Patrons speak of a spectral bartender, forever serving spirits to the living and the dead alike. It's a haunt where you can knock back a drink with the otherworldly. Next, we venture to the Sultan's Palace. This three-story mansion holds a gruesome history, a tale of a wealthy man who met a bloody end, and the ghostly harem that still lingers. Visitors report eerie music, phantom footsteps, and chilling screams in the dead of night. It's said that the Sultan himself still roams the halls, his spirit trapped in perpetual torment. Whether it's the spectral bartender at the old Absinthe House or the ghostly harem at Sultan's Palace, New Orleans is a city that never sleeps, even in death. Now that we've journeyed through the most haunted places in New Orleans, it's time to plan your visit. For the bravest souls, the best time to visit these eerie sites is undoubtedly late at night, when the moon casts long spectral shadows and the city's spectral inhabitants are believed to be most active. For an extra thrill, consider planning your trip around Halloween, when New Orleans comes alive with an eerie energy that can't be matched. As for accommodations, the city has a wide range of options to suit every traveler. You'll find everything from luxurious hotels steeped in history, possibly with a ghost or two of their own, to cozy campgrounds that allow you to immerse yourself in the natural beauty of Louisiana. New Orleans awaits your daring spirit. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you found this video enlightening. Safe travels, and may you return with tales of your own.